is love. Marriages have to be founded on love. Any other reason, for any other reason that you marry or thin, you don't become one. The only thing that make you one is that your marriage is founded on love. It's like renewing your relationship uh, with the Lord in your church. Uh, until nothing can tear it apart. No storms, no, 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 no winds, no rains, no misunderstandings. Nothing can tear it apart because it's wrapped up in love. All love that you see is what the first was, what the beginning was like. And that's what makes it, it, it wonderful. That's what makes this renewal so awesome that they are doing. They have kept their vows for 50 years. Now they say we're willing to do it all over again. The vows which you made when you first united in marriage. We do. Do you promise to continue to keep the vows and the covenant which you made at your wedding? We do. Do you promise to continue to cultivate your love for each other by discipline? understanding, trustfulness, compassion, thoughtfulness, patience, and mutual consideration. Do you promise to endure, to create a Christian environment in your home, and to help each other to live godly lives in Christian service? Because of the vows which you have renewed, which each other and with God, in the presence of these witnesses, let us now join in prayer of dedication. Here, the shepherd. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheek? Will be loving you. 